Traditional and Modern Golic Vulcan, Lesson 4. Ba i go vulcansu, tu pake. Noun verb pairs. Shiflar te veljit torjit. This lesson is a grammatical introduction to noun verb pairs in traditional and modern Golic Vulcan. Following regular patterns found in many verbs, it is often easy to determine what the corresponding noun form of the word is. Due to shades of meaning, there may be more than one noun form. It does not work as easily when going from the noun to the verb, as we will show below. The Golic Vulcan languages are languages with millennia of history behind them and have had many borrowings from other Vulcan languages. Changing technology and language reforms, left incomplete after Surak's death, have also changed the use or form of some words over time. Notes Pitolar All verbs in Golic Vulcan have a corresponding noun form and vice versa. Unlike many Federation Standard English words where the noun and the verb are the same word, for example, like, hate, etc., it is practically unheard of in the Golic Vulcan languages to see this. Vulcans accept the logic of the words of the famous ancient grammarian Tenek of Shihan, whose first words to every new class of students was simply Nanatya is, Natya shid, for different use, a different form. Below are several ch charts showing examples of different kinds of noun verb pairs. Pairs from weak verbs Shiflar to Kobat Torjitlar Verb form, noun form. Ashiv to repeat. Ashiv, repeat, repetition. Fulag to lead. Fulag, lead as in a race. Istor, to use. Is, use. Isan, usage. Krastor, to paint. Kras, paint. Kumtor, to catch. Kum, catch. Martor, to buy. Mar, buy. Mintor, to glow. Mean, glow. Tomtor, to dance. Tom, dance. Jutor, to hear. Ju, hearing. Although this looks childishly simple and you would be tempted to assume that all weak verbs pair this way, this is not the case. Because of confusion with another similar word or for phonetic clarity, the root of many weak verbs is actually clipped off. If you simply remove the tor action suffix of these clipped weak verbs, the remaining noun could mean something unrelated to the verb or even nothing at all. For example, da means pebble. The noun partner of dator is don. See below. Also, it is possible to find a shade or difference in meaning in different endings of nouns compared to the corresponding verbs. Study the large vocabulary lists on our site to note these differences. Verb form, noun form. Dator, to rotate. Don, rotation. Glator, to see. Glan, sight. Shetor, to ascend. Shen, Ascent. Tevtor, to descend. Tevan, descent. Zavtor, to taste. Zavan, taste. As you can see, though, all of these clipped examples are suffixed with N after a vowel or AN after a consonant. In the future, when translating Golic Vulcan weak verbs, remember this pattern, as it holds true for most cases. Therefore, if you come across a weak verb like klutor or zantor, and cannot find a corresponding noun klu or zan with the right meaning, try klun or zanan. Pairs from irregular strong verbs. Shiflar to ripachaik kari torjitlar. Verb form. Noun form. Aitlu, to desire. Aitlun, desire. Esto, to touch. Esta, touch. Fosho, to shed. Fosha, shedding. Ipsut, to hide. Ipsui, hiding. Klacha, to lock. Klachek, lock. Lasha, to arrive. Lashan, arrival. Psta, 
to search. Psthan, search. Salur, to blow. Sal, blow as in wind. She, to scream. She, scream. Thanai, to adopt. Thana, adoption. Vlur, to howl. Vlut, howl. Irregular strong verbs cause the most confusion to students of the Golic Vulcan languages. This is because these verbs are usually ancient words and or words from non-Golic Vulcan languages. The rules for Golic Vulcan word formation often do not have any meaning here. Surak and others had intended to smooth out these irregularities gradually over time, but Surak's death prevented these reforms from being completed. There are patterns here, of course, but they are based on the grammatical rules of the parent language. Students of Golic Vulcan will need to memorize these words. Pairs from regular strong verbs. Shiflar to pakhaik kari torjitlar. Verb form, noun form. Batao, to approach. Bataya, approach. Danao, to explain. Danaya, explanation. Kitao, to write. Kitaya, writing. Tishao, to like. Tishaya, like or liking. Vravshao, to fail. Vravshaya, failure. As is plain to see, all regular strong verbs have a noun partner with a fixed pattern of formation. Of course, some of these kinds of verbs may have additional nouns based on the same root with other forms for different shades of meaning.